what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i'm going to start this off and apologize for anything being messed up uh working with a lot different equipment here i actually officially have a laptop and a gopro and all that i'm not just recording off of my cellular device um so i'm still learning a ton of new stuff on everything anyway uh, so I'm going to go ahead and slip the cat out of the bag because I'm a very impatient person and can't wait on literally anything. Um, <clears throat> there is going to be a new car of mine on the channel. Hopefully, finally, I actually start making some content and all kinds of stuff like that. So long story short, I bought a 2004 STI from a buddy of mine that had a, might as well just call it a catastrophic engine failure or aka it subarued itself <clears throat> listen i know subarus are trash but i love them i don't care <laughs> uh the car was built uh had an ieg closed deck block with all kinds of goodies uh rotated turbo setup on it uh i made a lot of changes the car had a borg winter turbo we went with a precision turbo now um I mean, honestly, I mean, honestly, I just changed a ton of stuff. Um, I am going to make more videos of the car, a little walk around and show a little bit of everything. This is just more kind of like a intro update video on what you're going to be seeing on the channel, which is pretty much going to be just car stuff. Um, I wish I was shooting this at the shop actually in front of the car, but... I'm at that house right now. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's 2004 Subaru STI uh, Silver. And, man, I'm just trying to think, really. I mean, the car I've had for a few months now, and it is actually pretty close to being done. Well, I wouldn't say really close. It's about... 70% done, give or take. Um, if you were thinking about the comment of it, Subaru in itself, uh, it actually didn't blow the head gasket. I know that's probably your first thought. The car actually had some kind of oiling failure. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the pump itself just went bad if the car you know i don't know i i honestly don't even know i just know for 100 percent of fact it was an oiling issue and when it was tore down the oil pump was actually locked up so whether the car didn't have oil in it or the oil pump just one of those things that just locked up i don't know but it led to destroying the crank wiping out the bearings it just did a ton of damage um, everything's cool now rotating assembly was brand new OEM uh, nitrated crank uh, mainly i beam rods mainly pistons um, heads are on it uh, I'm actually currently just waiting on new Brian Crower cam gears and a couple other things I wanted to do to the car really so hopefully I can get in the shop this week Get a good walk around video of the car and show more of the car and what i'm doing to it and everything like that um if you scroll through my other couple videos you can see a couple videos of the car what it was when it was together when a buddy of mine still owned it um i believe i'm not 100 sure off the top of my head but i'm pretty sure the car was 600 and 32 to the wheels if i remember correctly I, 625 to 635 somewhere right in between i know for sure um stock drivetrain pretty much just all engine stuff stock axles stock transmission stock rear end stock drive shaft i know there's people out there making way more power on stock drivetrain uh the goal with the car now is 
I would like honestly to see the car in the 700 range, 750 before it starts maxing out with the precision turbo I went with. And if things hold together this spring with the engine, which crossing my fingers that they do, I will be pulling the car back in the shop next winter and hopefully going bigger and better with the car. I would honestly love to see this car close to the thousand horsepower range, but with not having it back together right now and seeing what it makes right now, it's crazy to even be talking numbers like that. But if I get my way, hopefully I can get the car to it. Honestly, 700 when the car did make six, whatever it was, um, previous owner told me that the car ran out of fuel. Um, it had a, uh, Dutch works 300 pump and a Walbro 450 pump. So got rid of that. Um, I replaced the Walbro 450 with a new one and I put another Walbro 450 in. So it's double 450 pumps, um, all AN lines and, um, AN fitting stuff like that, my bad. So hopefully fueling should definitely not be an issue now. It has uh, the ID 2000 CC injectors on E85. When the car was out, it was actually only E85. So I am going to be installing a flex fuel kit on the car to be able to just work around more fuels. We have one station here where I'm at that has the 85 and it's never consistent. So if I do keep the car on mainly 85, I'll probably order it in a drum, something like that. That's more, you know, actual proper. Um, but we'll see. So hopefully by the end of the week, I can get in the shop and Get a good video and walk around and stuff like that for you guys but until then just work with me be patient and hopefully i can get you guys some stuff that you like maybe even give me some feedback on what you would like to see with the car i have a bunch of videos of what the car was and going to be making a ton of videos of what the car is now and what the car is going to be hopefully so if you have any questions feel free to ask i actually going to be probably selling a lot of the stuff that came off of the car <clears throat> from the old setup just because I've just changed a few things up for my own personal liking um, but yeah if you guys have any questions man be, be free to ask I'll try to answer anything the best that I can um, but until then I'll see you guys next time